All right, this video is to show you how to go through and integrate Google Calendar with your Calendly account. So Calendly is a scheduling software that you can integrate on different platforms. And this is one that I choose to use on um, are different pricing structures for it. So let's go through and click on this first. Typically, most people start off with the basic, which is totally free, but it only allows you to integrate with one event. Um, I like to, for my customers to go through and actually start off with this eight dollar uh, per month one, eight or either ten dollars. I think I use the. Yep, I think this right here would be perfect right here for most most individuals. Some people may have to use the pro. And I think I use the pro as well. But anyhow, so we're going to go through and actually um, sign up. So the first thing you do, if you do not have a calendar account, you must go through and sign up. Click on the sign up button. Then you're going to go through and use your Google, um, your Google email address. And I have multiple Google email accounts. So let me see which one that I don't have associated with Calendly. I think this is one. OK, perfect. OK, so now you're going to go through and sign up with Google. So you're going to click right here. And let me go through and hopefully I can remember my password. It's always great to go through and keep your passwords in uh, a google document but let me go through okay perfect it's going to allow you uh it's going to ask you if you would like to have uh calendly uh manage your calendar press allow all right so now what you're going to do you can go through and actually edit this so if you have a business you may want to put uh calendar on uh, calendly.com forward slash your business name so my business is direct giraffe marketing so i may i may put direct giraffe if your business is um prime care you want to put prime care whatever your business is you want to go through and actually change it to whatever it me meets your particular uh, business name you can go through and select the time uh, time zone so most people are east standard whatever midwest whatever your uh, time zone is and whatever language you prefer and then you'll click next All right, they have a short video on how to go through and actually create create the um, the videos and everything. But I'm going to walk you through this as well. So I'm going to skip this and go straight to your dashboard. All right, so we have the dashboard event types, and you have your um, your your user settings right here. So let's go to your dashboard. Your, your dashboard is going to allow you to go through and actually um, see what's coming up on your schedule. So once you actually create different event types, you'll go through and actually see what actually comes uh, up what uh, up and coming appointments are. So let's go to let's go to and actually go to event type. So this is where you're going to go through and create your different event types. So they as you can see, they already have some of them already pre arranged in here. So what you can do is go through and actually click on the edit button, which is the little settings right here. Click edit and then you can go through and actually give um, the event a title. So let's say if you were an attorney and let's say if you want to go through, let's say if, Fer let's say if, I, if I was an attorney, so I may put Ferris Flanoy 30 minute consult. consult. Okay, perfect. You can go through an add location. So if you use some type of software like Zoom or, or let's say if you uh, want face-to-face -face meeting, you can go through and do that. So a lot of times with my meetings, I integrate a free software called Zoom. So all of my consultations are actually online. Um, so you can go through and actually embed a code. And if you need that help with that, just give me a call or send me an inbox or email and I can show you how to do that. But you can go through and put your business address. So let's say if my business address was 1735 Irwinton. Road Milledgeville, Georgia, three one zero six one. Okay, so they'll they'll be able to go through and actually you can go through and put with the location there. All right, and it'll be displayed when a person is booking. You can also go through and give instructions. So if you have something that you want people to fill out prior to actually uh, a consultation, you can go through and put instructions. Hey, don't forget to uh, check your email to fill out our questionnaire. Or hey, um, don't forget to arrive 15 minutes early for your appointment or give a call or whatever those um, whatever those particular instructions will be. So from here, so you see with the event type, you can have, okay, so let's say if you're a business, you have calendar.com forward slash whatever your business name. Now you can go through and actually make this personal. So you can put in Ferris, um, in no spaces, Ferris 30 minute consult or whatever, or just Ferris 30 minutes. So now 
this is an individual link that's going to be directly linked towards a particular person. You can go through and choose whatever color. Let's say I want to use purple. You can go through and press save and close. Let me see where did I put? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You cannot cannot use any um any number. So let's say it's Ferris Ferris Consult, and I think I have to keep it lowercase Ferris Consult. I think I can't use numbers. Let's go through. But you can't use capital. Ferris con. Yep. Okay. So you, you can use um, numbers, but you just can't use any, um, any caps. Okay. Then you press save and close with that. So the next thing you want to do is actually, um, choose how long your event will be or your, your consultation or whatever your appointment will be. So you can choose 15 minute, 30, 45 minutes, or you can use custom, custom form. So if you want to use custom, let's say if I just want to use 30 minutes, I'm saying all of my, event, all of my, um, events or consultation will be 30 minutes. Okay, so bam, I have that the event can schedule over 30 over 60 day rolling uh, rolling days. So this, this means that people can go through and schedule 60 days in advance. So you can go through and do that as well. Or you can go through and actually select a particular date um, on when you want to go through and actually make it indefinite on my calendar. I keep it indefinite until I go through and change it. So I would recommend just putting it indefinite so you don't have to go through and actually touch it again. Press apply. Okay, now what we're going to go through and actually is arrange your availability. So now this is what you have to do. You have to go through and see what availabilities do you have on, on your schedule. So like you may not do consultations from 9 to 5 p.m. Monday through Fridays. So we're going to go through and um, click on here. You can go through and actually edit this. So this will be for all Mondays. So let's say if you do um, consultations on Mondays from 9 to, to 10 o'clock a.m., AM. Okay, you just apply. I'm sorry. You have to sorry you have to break it down. So nine to nine thirty. And then you go through since it's thirty minutes consults at another interval. Um nine thirty AM to ten o'clock AM. Bam. So so now people will be able to go through and actually schedule different events and you can go through and I think we made this actually on all Mondays. You can do it just for a particular day or you can do it for all Mondays. Once you hit apply, as you see, we, when we go to the next week, it will continue to do the same. And the only thing you have to do is go through and do the same thing for each additional day. So let's say if some days you say, may, you may say, I don't do any consults on Tuesdays, just delete it and press apply and it will take it out. So no one can schedule consultations on those days. Or you may say, well, hey, on Wednesday, I don't want. I, I do my I do my consults in the evening because I know sometimes people work. So Wednesday will be, will be my late day. So I'm going to do a 6.30 um, p.m. consult if that's what you do. Most people don't, but 6.30 p.m. And I'm going to do from 6.30 to 7 o'clock p.m. And I'm going to add another interval. I'm going to do from 7 o'clock p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Okay. And press apply and then bam it'll go right here and i think i put it on repeat for for the next week so bam there you go so you get to just have it so some days you can turn them on some days you can turn them off you can have it recurring let's say if for some reason you're going out of town on vacation and you want to cancel a particular day you want to you can go through and actually click on that particular time and actually just do it for the 18th and say you know what i'm unavailable and it'll go through and actually do it just for the 18th as well so um that's how you go through and set your calendar up press save and close on that the next thing you want to do is actually um, get gather information from the person who's actually filling out the consult. So I think it only allows you to go through and do up to five questions, um, but you can go through and actually uh, put the question there if you want a one line or multiple line or radio button or checkbox. Uh, so this is for individuals to go through and get a quick, short uh, questionnaire. Most people do not like to fill out long questionnaires on their phone. So I recommend to go through and get straight to the point, the information that you need um, so that you can go through and get information from them. OK, so I'm not going to go in that. Press save and close. OK, so the inv uh, invited uh, notification. So you can go through and do personalized notifications uh, as well. Uh, you can go through and do it via email. It's a calendar notifications. One second. All right. This is the part that I like using. I like for individuals to go through and set up email reminders. So you can go through and personalize your emails. You can go through and actually use the um, the, the frames that are, that they already have. You can you, you can customize it, or you can go through and actually um, just use what they have as well. 
Um, you can go through and set different um, intervals where people will get notif uh, notifications as well. Uh, you can go through and do a 24 hour notification, uh, days before, minutes before. So let's say if you're very conscious with your time and you want to go through and make sure the person, um, if they need to counsel, they, you get, they get notified at an adequate time. So you can go through, I would recommend a 48 hour, 24 hour, two hour before so that a person knows that you are serious about your time as well. You can go through and do that as well. Very simple to do.